So I had an awful time the first night because I missed my plane and we were stuck in TJ all night. Didn't have a flight till the next morning. But even then, it was delayed twice. Plus the tickets doubled because you're getting a last minute plane ticket. And then I ended up getting stuck in Mexico City to our next connecting flight because our connecting flight we missed since our plane was delayed twice. I believe it all has to do with COVID. That's why so many pilots are calling out supposedly. I'm not really sure what the poor deal was with that. But I, what was kind of cool was getting stuck in Mexico City and they paid for our hotel where to stay. We had free breakfast in the morning. We had free dinner that night. And um, I was so pissed during dinner time. So I just showed what was going on during breakfast. It was actually really, really good. People were super nice, but I was so excited to just get to our connecting flight the next morning. So before I head out to the beach, since this is our first day here, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a tour around our Airbnb, which was really, really nice and lovely. It's so hot, we're going to the beach. that needs to be your top priority is coming to this beach it's beautiful the water is it's not like warm warm but it's a good temperature and it is just a great atmosphere and i loved it so much and of course i had to go and paint out here but i forgot my palette <laughs> so i ended up using some leaves that i found on the ground and i somehow made it work Watch paints and some of my acrylic paints and then i went and um, painted at the beach but it was a little bit harder than i thought because the waves were just inconsistent they would go it was like high tide low tide and it was just up and down a lot so that wasn't helpful but i did get something done and i wasn't sure if i was gonna go and paint something that i saw because there's like rocks and then the ocean and um and, and while walks in the sand and it kind of looked really nice of like a scenery and then also i sketched a lot at the airport since we were stuck and um i'll just finish my painting here now that we're at the hotel so i'll show you guys how it came out you know that one kind of was okay with this sketches i don't know what i was thinking it was like three o'clock in the morning i was tired but i was trying to pull an all-nighter and um i don't necessarily paint birds but i want to more so i want to practice more this was an ugly sketch wasn't really fully into that one and this is a window but it was from when i went to San Miguel. so i've been wanting to do this so it's like a i'll show you a reference later on and I do love these two sketches. So these turned out pretty neat. This one was four o'clock in the morning, okay guys? <laughs> I was exhausted. Ugh, that one came out a little bit ugly, but it's all right. And then I need to finish this one. Done here, I'm gonna add color to the rocks and make it more defined. So I plan to try to get that done. <laughs> So this place is really really cool, it's called Mirador and it's literally walking distance from my Airbnb and it is stunning. So I went and watched the sunset that night, so that night just made up everything for what I've been through and I get this beautiful view. Oh, and the Airbnb has an upstairs where you can go and 
chill out, hang out in the hammock, and also you can barbecue up there. It was just, it was a really good view, so yeah, it was just all worth it. to get to the other side. Walking. Everybody, run, run. <laughs> Everything to do now that I'm back in Mexico is go to the markets. And we went to the markets and I always buy a bunch of fruit. And um, what else did I get? Oh, I got some chia and some linares, lin, lina, linasa. So, I think that's flax seeds in Spanish. I can't remember, but I always love the fruit here. And then we went to a restaurant, but I como era gabacho, so it wasn't really the best. I like street food better, so that's what I'm gonna go do today. Go find some street food. things to do is find cool coffee shops this one I fell in love with the owner's dog just likes to hang out with customers and just chill she'll walk inside she'll hang out outside really sweet dog the owner was super nice so if you do come to Puerto Escondido try out this coffee shop you will not regret it Also, here's a tip. If you're not a person who likes to walk or you don't really necessarily walk, like walking long distance, get a rental car because everything's at a distance. So I found a really cool spot with a beautiful view where you can go and have coffee as well as have your breakfast. They have great yogurt with granola. That was delicious as well as some great green juices and my pancakes were excellent. So that was a really cool breakfast spot to brunch. Oh my gosh, 
So we came towards Zicatela, Zicatela Beach. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Oh my God, I'm freaking Mexican. I can't even say it right. I am so sorry. I am a disgrace. But listen, when you come to this side, there's a lot of young people here. And um, if you do run across some women without their bathing suit tops, do not be alarmed. I think they're just tanning their boobs or I think this is a thing in Zacatela, so just FYI, you will see some take off their, their um, swimsuit bra, so be alarmed. But honestly, I was so far away from them, I really didn't care. It doesn't matter how many boots or boots, but just, just FYI. And I kind of came to the very, very end of the section because a lot of people were towards, it, it's like a little bit of further walk to get to the rocks. And I guess you can go under the rocks on the other side. Do I dare do it by myself? No. But if I had to with me, I would have been down. Hi. I know it's super hot up here. That's really pretty. What kind of hat is this? like oops, little plants on top so weird so this was basically the last day that we're going to be here and then also we had the following day but we had basically all midday to ourselves before our catch our plane which is towards the night time but it just sucked because I really wanted to finish my paintings and put it into this video but unfortunately I got stuck with the worst stomach flu of my life and I think it's because the food caught up to me finally and I was eating like like if I haven't eaten in years so unfortunately I didn't get to finish my paintings I didn't get to put it on here I really thought I was gonna die because the plane ride was horrible. My blood pressure went low. My hands went numb. I feel like I couldn't breathe. It was just the worst time of my life. So I'm sorry, guys. I will not be showing my paintings. And I do plan to finish those paintings at home here in California. And I will have those in my next video. So enjoy my little last day exercise that I was trying to get in before I got sick. Because later on like within an hour that's when just everything went to hell very exciting but anyways next subject hope you guys enjoy this video i will have uh the restaurant and the cafe where i went and i will be putting those down below mm -hmm.